this is a Sunday dedicated to worship and just to glorify the name of the Lord because of who he is and I pray that as you run through the, the week as you run through the day let your mind be conscious of who he is let your mind walk in the consciousness of the faithfulness of God of the mercies of God of the goodness of God and every time you're conscious of who he is the Bible says the people that do know their God shall be strong they will do exploits one of the secrets of walking in strength is in understanding of the God that you worship it's not in the understanding of your surrounding sometimes your surrounding is completely negative sometimes your surrounding is not anything that would put a smile on your face sometimes your surrounding would cause depression but if you can allow yourself to look at the faithfulness of who God is, if you can allow your heart, your mind to walk in the consciousness of God, that consciousness that you're so conscious of who God is, of what he is able to do, it gives you strength when David stepped in the battlefield all through this young man is walking in the consciousness of God even when he goes among his soldiers that are so experienced he's not intimidated he's walking in the consciousness of God When he is meeting Goriath, he's walking in the consciousness of his God. When he meets a challenge, a challenge from Saul, when Saul is telling him, this is not possible. He answers back in the consciousness of his God. He's saying, let no man be troubled about the surrounding. Let no man be troubled about the glory that you're seeing. I'm too conscious of what God has done. That's what David is telling them. I'm too conscious of how faithful God has been in my yesterday. In my yesteryears. I'm too conscious of how he has protected me. I'm so conscious of the doors that he's opened for me. That that consciousness has created boldness within my systems. It has created a character in me that people can't explain or understand. Because people wonder, how do I smile all day? It must create a character within you that people think you don't have any problems. every time people look at you they think everything is okay with you because they will never be able to tell when you are either sick they will never tell when you're broke they will never deal ne never know when you're dealing with anything challenging in life because it will never show on your face there are some people you will look at you will know when they don't have money they don't need to tell you you will know when someone has discouraged them. You will know, you will tell when they have challenges in their lives. But some of us are so unpredictable. You cannot predict when we are going through anything. 
I'm not talking to anyone this morning. And that's who Jesus was. That even for his disciples, they couldn't tell. That's why one day he, has, he had to tell them, guys, my heart is very down at this time. They couldn't tell. And that's who you're supposed to be. But how can you be that way? It is when you walk with the consciousness of who God is in your life. When you walk in that consciousness of he is a good God. He is my shield. He is my bakra. He's my protector. And that will come when you learn to be a worshiper. I understand that David was a worshiper. He would worship when he is in the forest. Theologians tell us that David would tune his harp with the trees of Lebanon. Those cinders of Lebanon. They're so tall that when the wind blows, they would make some music or some sounds. And he would take the harp and tune it that way. He would enjoy that blowing of the trees and the blowing of the wind and the sound they were making. And he would make sure his harp is tuned that way no wonder when they wanted someone to worship God in the presence of the king there's someone who said I know of a young man who is a worshiper he would he was so conscious when he wrote psalms like the Lord is my shepherd. He's writing such psalms as he grazes. So the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He's so conscious. He's saying you're the one who leads me in the paths of righteousness. He recognizes and says even though I go through a valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil why I'm conscious that you're with me I'm so conscious that you're with me that even when death is so near I'm not afraid because if you're walking in the valley of the shadow of death any place you see a shadow then the real thing is right there you will never see my shadow if I'm not there So if he's in a valley of the shadow of death, then believe me, you, death is somewhere near, but he's still not worried about it. Ah. He's still not worried about it. He's not walking in fear. And please allow me to say this, because I was not prepared to preach this morning. But allow me to say this, Walking in the consciousness of God. From last year and this year, because of the pandemic that has hit the world, some of us are walking in consciousness of death instead of the consciousness of God. You're walking like you're about to die. You're walking like you can die any hour. And especially when you hear reports from all over. Then you begin to think you're next. Because the enemy wants you to walk in that consciousness of death, of fear. And every time you walk in that consciousness, you begin to lose it. Because fear and faith do not go together. Please fear mitigates your faith. Mitigation is a term used in court. Where after you have presented your case to the judges, the other lawyer comes in mitigation. Mitigation means Trying to oppose what you said. Trying to oppose the thing you believed. 
that's why you will hear them say in mitigation the lawyer said so you need to understand fear comes to mitigate your faith and every time you allow that and especially when you're not conscious of who God is in your life then that's when you begin to lose your battle because listen to me the enemy brings in the battle in your mind and the day you lose your battle in your mind you lose it in the physical that's why the Bible says what a man thinks in his heart so he is God once said in the book of Genesis what these people have imagined cannot be stopped from them he knew it is God himself who first revealed to us the power of the mind it's not in 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 the motivation books it is not the motivation writers that gave us the secret it was God himself in Genesis 11 that what these people have imagined cannot be stopped that's why you must make sure that your mind is conscious Of the greatness of God of the peace that surpasses the human understanding that's why your mind has got to be so conscious of what God is able to do because when you're conscious of that you behave differently you speak differently understand what your mind thinks will influence what you talk and when you and what you speak is so important because the Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue that's why you have to be so careful of the things you allow the battles you allow the enemy you know literally the enemy calls a meeting in your mind today these days people talk about kweta kamushemanio and most of us go in this kamushemanio and you're taking notes and by the time you leave that meeting the minutes you have taken are minutes of i'm defeated i'm going to die i'm going to lose i'm not gonna make it please this morning in this worship service those minutes that you took i want you to tear them if it is not the mind of Christ that was with you the Bible says let the mind of Christ be in you the consciousness of God now this week one media house called me it's a bishop we've been given some assignment this week to take some story I say uh -huh, what story is this they said, we are told in Yeri that you pastors are very busy right now. I say, uh-huh. Busy about what? He said, because you're burying so many people. So we would like to come and pick a story of what is happening and how many barriers you've had to do in church, you know. And I told them, don't even come. Because we don't have that story in Victor's Chapel. Now, if you're clapping, you better clap better. As I told them, I told them, we, we don't have that story here. And it's not going to be a story in Jesus' name. I say, it's not going to be a story in Jesus' name. Because as for you, you are in a covenant of long life. I'm not talking to anyone here before corona came i think a near before corona came the lord told me to write this book covenant of long life some of you haven't read this book please make sure you buy this book as you walk out today it will be at the tapes table covenant of long life why you need to saturate your mind right now with the consciousness of god 
in this valley there is of the shadow of death that literally you can see the shadow pass no come in guy can you go okay to get up in on the shadow may be around you but the real thing won't touch you in jesus name that's why david got to a time he was pushed so much he was pushed so much by things and he shouted and he said i shall not die but live when you hear david talk about a thousand shall fall on my side ten thousand on my other side but whatever is causing them to fall shall not come near me it's because he's too conscious he's in a certain covenant he's too conscious please open your mouth speak in tongues for a while and if you're not spirit filled receive the holy ghost right now just open up that mouth and speak in tongues for a while Praise all and ash take a nose a body for nasty attire. Break your consulate for vote as you know. Like a zot a tish tattoo na see of attire. Raise in the start up or of Indy. Walking in that consciousness. If you read the story of Job. Chapter number one of the book of Job will reveal to you why job went through what he went through what does the bible say this is the things i feared most the thing i feared The things are feared. The things that I allowed to go through my mind and my heart. They've befallen me. I don't know what's happening with the scriptures today. Media team, you're a bit slow today. I don't know why. That the thing I feared most. Look at that. For the thing I greatly feared. So this thing didn't just come. He didn't just attract the enemy. It's something that he was conscious about. And he says, and what I dreaded has happened to me. So we see in before all these things what was happening in the heart and in the mind of Job. Nobody would tell it. When you look at Job, he looks okay. Job is a member of the church. Job is God fearing. Job is blessed. What Job does not know, he is surrounded with a hedge. Though surrounded with a hedge, he's still walking in fear. What if I lose everything I have? What if I lose my children? What if I die of corona? What if this thing that is finishing everybody finishes me? What if, what if the thing I feared most? The thing I dreaded. has happened to me I'm not at ease I'm not quiet I have no rest for trouble comes to me this morning as we leave this service I want to ask you this question are you conscious of the goodness of God
Are you walking in the consciousness of who God is? Or are you walking in the consciousness of your surrounding? If you walk in the consciousness of your surrounding, you might lose in this battle. If you walk in the consciousness of the challenges you've gone through, you might not make it to a tomorrow. But when you walk in the consciousness of the covenant of God, that challenge will go behind you. That challenge, you will look at it and say, wow, the Lord saw me through. Why is that going to happen? Because you will walk in the consciousness of goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I bless you this morning. I decree in the name of the Lord that the mind of Christ is what you have in Jesus' name. I decree that you will walk in the consciousness of who God is and what He is able to do. That unchanging God, that merciful God, that God of covenant, that God who has saved us for you. That forget about everyone else. As for you. As for you. And therefore I decree to you today. The covenant keeping God. Will keep the covenant. That he has spoken concerning your life. What has he said? I'll satisfy you with good life. I'll satisfy you with the number of days. He has asked for you. You will go to the grave in a good old age. So none of you is dying prematurely. He said, I will bless the fruit of your womb. He said, what you touch shall prosper. He said, I will grant you the desire of your heart. As for you, he is a God of covenant. And I want you, as you leave this service, I want you to live with that consciousness. And as you move in that consciousness, that is how faith begins to grow within you why because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God as you meditate upon the goodness of God Joshua was told Joshua let this book of the law not depart from your mouth meditate upon it day and night then only then will you have good success let the meditation of your heart from this day be the meditation of victory. Be the meditation of protection. Praise Allah. And just like I told the media, there is no story for them. There will be no story for them as pertaining to your life in Jesus' name. If there be any story, it's of how the Lord has protected you. It's of how the Lord has opened doors for you. It's of how the Lord has ministered every challenge. He has fought your battles. For this is my story. This is my soul. Praising my Savior. Yeah, all the day long, this is story, this is my soul, praising Let me hear that story right now. This is my story. This is my soul. Praising, praising my Savior.
It is because blessed assurance Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. I'm here. Hail of salvation. I chased of It is annoying. An assurance is annoying that you know, that you know, that you know. And that is what I pray for every one of us. That that be your story. In Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. Can someone shout a big amen? your hands and say I have a blessed assurance that Jesus is mine come on say I'm in a covenant of long life say I am born of covenant and even in this hour covenant is speaking for me in Jesus name give Jesus another clap as we finish this service coming to the end of our first service I, I pray that you will you will get back to our YouTube channel or get back to our Facebook page listen to that message again listen to it again I want that thing to be so I want you to be so conscious of it because that is what is going to kill every fear that the enemy may have tried to raise in your lives in Jesus name amen I like us to get ready to give our sacrifices this morning in the name of Jesus just get back to your pocket and I want you to get your very good offering in the name of Jesus it's wonderful to give it's great to give I mean we, we just thank God that has protected us and in this year of Thanksgiving we're coming to him in Thanksgiving in worship of who he is in, in I mean he is just a wonderful God and we give him every praise you can take your phone at this time if your money is in your account or in your empesa we will allow you to give through your phone through the pay bill number that is on the screen and we really really want to thank god for every one of you if you want to pick an envelope the ushers are there ministering to you with an envelope just pick an envelope and uh, put your tithe in there worship god with what he has given you worship god worship God with what he has given you it's what awesome just to glorify God because of his faithfulness thank you Jesus now I think we have some more people who need envelopes just just serve everyone so that we all give together in Jesus name 
the office block construction is going on very well like we announced a few weeks ago is that we are now on the finishings we've already promised the children that they are going back to their class on the of this coming month that means by the end of this month which is only a few days we will have vacated the classes in that connection we want to keep requesting that you continue giving us your support we want to thank god for every one of you on sunday we had a fundraising and we were able to get about 600 and 600 and about 50,000 thank you so much for giving that but it's it's okay to say that the money we gave part of it went to clear some of the debts we had and part of it uh, we actually did not even clear all the debts but and because we needed to buy a few more materials to do the finishings we have started the painting works and so I, I, I want to make this request we need we need about 40 boxes of tiles I'd like to appreciate the media the media team that this morning they came to my office and said they're going to give us all the doors that we need inside there that's about five doors we appreciate the doors and the hedges I appreciate the media team please help me appreciate them with a big clap but I need about 40 boxes of tiles so that we may fix the tiles in the office one box of tile is going for 2,000 Kenya shillings and I'm gonna ask anyone in this service when I give you a chance if you can give us a box or two boxes or ten boxes or all the boxes I mean you, you're free to do that let me pick a quick pledge if we can do that very quickly someone who can give us two boxes two boxes is like four thousand because I said one box is going for two thousand but I want to pick a few boxes if you can just buy as a box uh, I like let me see you by sure I've heard if you want to give us a box or a tile in worship this day we ask that your grace will be multiplied in our lives we give you praise let grace be multiplied and may your name be lifted in our lives as we give Lord we thank you for what you have given us we give from the depth of our hearts and we pray that your blessings will follow every one of us thank you for the project and what you have done in this project father glory and honor is on to you thank you for provision and we continue to say that the god of heaven himself you will prosper us and we will keep doing your work oh god i bless your people this morning and as we leave this place we live blessed we live protected and may your name be glorified we give you honor and glory in jesus mighty name and everyone shout a big amen